Hey guys, just wanted to say apologies for the lack of vlogging. As I'm new at this, I'm sort of struggling to sort of keep up with the daily vlog kind of thing. I'm not gonna do it daily, literally. I have put Tuesday's vlog up now. Um, the reason why it took me so long was because, as you probably know now, we went out on Tuesday night um, to see my friend Yolo's talk on wildlife and we had to drive all the way to Glastonbury to see it. Um, so as we got back quite late, we went to bed straight away. Then the next day, I started editing the vlog and I got it all ready and everything like that. I was like almost halfway through editing and the computer froze. I was not a happy bunny. Why did I put an American accent for that? Yeah, I wasn't, I was not a happy bunny and uh, I was ranting at Kev text messages why isn't your computer working that is a reason why i hate microsoft windows and that is it that was really frustrating i was so grumpy the rest of the day just <laughs> the slightest thing and i just i'm like a ticking time bomb <laughs> i feel sorry for kev but yeah that just put me in a really grumpy mood because then i couldn't edit it deleted everything i'd edited which had taken me hours and then it meant that I could only edit the video in the evening when, when Kev was back, which meant that time I could have spent with Kev, I was editing instead. And he went to bed at about 11ish, and I didn't get to bed until about half 12, something like that. So yeah, I'm a bit knackered now. But it's done, it's done, finally. So hopefully there'll be no problems from now on and I will try and make sure that it, vlogging is a regular thing. It won't be daily, I will say that, but it will be almost daily. <laughs> I went into town today. Before this vlog, I've, I've also posted a shopping spree vlog. I went into town on Tuesday, so separate from, the day, from Tuesday's daily vlog, I also did a shopping spree vlog. I made it separate because I thought guys aren't going to want to know what I've bought in boots. <laughs> well, you know, you can go and have a look guys if you're really interested. So today, I went into town again. I went just for a walk, really, but I ended up buying stuff. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't got any money, so I really shouldn't be buying things, but I just do. <laughs> I think it's out of sheer boredom. I need a job. I mean, I went out, I went out, first I went for a walk by the river, and that was lovely. I found a nice little meadow and walked through the meadow and looked at all the wildlife and walked along the river and it was lovely. And then when that came full circle, I ended up back in town and I thought, I'll pop into Boots and get some, um, get some cotton wool balls because I need them to apply my makeup. You know, I'm running out. But then, being in Boots, obviously you're going to end up buying several hundred other million things. So I also bought this for my hair because to be fair, I don't apply heat protection to my hair and I should because I'm getting massive split ends and it's racking my hair. So I bought Frizzy's Extra Strength. It has six effects. It eliminates frizz, which I've complained about many times. My hair is extremely frizzy. I've straightened it today, by the way. So, it, you know, it's not so bad today, it's more it's more controllable-ish. Eliminates frizz, protects from humidity. <laughs> I don't want to turn into a Monica, our friends, when she goes to Barbados. Protects from heat. Check. Smooths, hydrates, and tames. I also bought this. It's Barry M. Natural Glow Shadow and Primer Palette. And I thought it was really cute. And it basically has all these colours for your eyes. So I only have one eyeshadow one that is how often i buy eyeshadow no actually that's a lie i have two but one of them has like crumbled because i tried to open it and it just flew everywhere i was happy about that Not. i also bought because i love the barrier nail varnish so much i was really pleased with it it's three for two so i bought some more barrier M nail varnish i bought these cute little colors like nice little pastel colours 
I love pastel colours. Natural collection. Um, pressed powder. I need some more because I'm running out. That's the problem when you're in boots. You're like, oh yeah, I need some more of that. And I need some more of that. And I need some more of that. But you don't need any of these things. You just, you just feel like you do when you're in boots. This is another thing I thought I needed because I just apply nail varnish on its own. I thought maybe I should get a top coat. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to get a base coat and a top coat because I'm already spending too much money. So I thought, which one should I get? I bought a top coat because I thought we'd be more likely to keep it, keep it on your nails. I walked past a big issue man and normally I don't buy big issue. I don't know how to explain it, but there's something about big issue that I don't agree with. Like I'd rather just buy them a cup of tea and a sandwich than... With homeless people, the issue I find is you don't know which ones are genuine and which ones are the ones that just want drugs and, and alcohol and cigarettes. And so if I give money to someone, I feel like, what if they're just gonna go and spend that on drugs now? And then I feel really bad because I'm making their life worse by giving them money. So it just annoys me people like that because they spoil it for, spoil it isn't the right word, but you know what I mean. They, they ruin it for like the people who are actually homeless and really do need money. People are reluctant to give it to them because they, nobody's sure about which ones are druggies and which ones are genuinely homeless. Anyway, on a lighter note, I did buy a big issue today because I walked past and I saw <sighs> this face. He's so pretty. Oh, he's got lipstick on him now. Sorry, Benny boy. <sighs> this man was my future husband until he got engaged. Well, until I met Kevin, obviously. <laughs> Love you, Kev. <laughs> but he's now engaged and I'm absolutely heartbroken. No, I'm happy for him. I'm very happy for him. Nobody deserves it more than he does. He deserves love and happiness, so. Congratulations, Benny boy. We all love you. The other thing I bought was in a charity shop. I, I love charity shopping. I went into the British Heart Foundation and I bought, <laughs> really randomly, I don't have this yet, but I love collecting DVDs and books and CDs. Everything's online now, but I, I don't know what it is. I just love, I love seeing it on the shelf. So I bought White Christmas as it's coming up to Christmas and I don't have it yet and I, I think I've only ever seen it once and I don't really remember it and I know it's a classic so I'm like I can't really get away with that not seeing it so yeah I thought I'd give that a go and plus I love old films like this My Fair Lady I'm gonna watch My Fair Lady today that's got me in the mood for some musical -ness -ness. two books because I love reading a book by Julian Barnes called Arthur and George and a book by Rachel Joyce called The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry can't wait to start reading them. I don't know which one to read first. Leave me a comment. Tell me if you know anything about these books and which one you think I should read first. Ta. That's everything, luckily for you. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and wait for Kev to come home. Come home, Kev. It's the weekend soon. Yay! It means that Kev will be home. Kev's parents are visiting tomorrow morning. So that'll be nice. The only thing I don't like is that we can't offer them a place to sit. Because we still haven't got a sofa. I want my sofa. Oh, God. Bye, guys. Don't forget to comment and thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Love, 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 love.